Uh, what's up, Milo? Hey, so I was just sitting here, mm -hmm. just thinking about the tournament that's coming up, March 24th, right? Mm -hmm. Very exciting, yeah. I was just wondering, I, I haven't seen you train at all. I haven't seen you do anything. Are you ready for this tournament? That's the thing. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna steamroll everybody. It's not even gonna be close. Like, I'm just so far ahead of everybody, I don't need to do anything. Like, for the past, like, two months, I've just been, I've just been playing Minecraft. That's it. That's all I do. I can confirm that. That's all I do. I mean, the thing is, I'm just, I'm just way too strong. Nobody's even close to my level, honestly. It's, I just kind of feel bad for everybody that's in my class. I don't know, maybe somebody will be close, but we'll see. No. No. Welcome to the high school championships. Today is March 24th. On this side, we have Auden Lerritt. That's right, Bob. And over on this side, we have Corbin Doan. This should be a great match between two amazing competitors. You can see they're negotiating for a grip right now. Ooh, Corbin's looking very, very dominant. And go! Oh, oh, oh my god, oh! Wow there, check that out. Looks like Corbin got the win. Oh, and that little bitch is crying on the ground now. Oh, he's such a disappointment. Well, this was certainly an upset. Looks like uh, Auden Lairet's crying on the ground now. What a little baby boy. <sighs> I need to be better. In this video, I will be completing the quest for Triple S Strength, Speed, and Stamina. If I need to get better at the three S's, then I know where to start. It's Strength. Strength is the root of all arm wrestling. If you're strong, you'll win at arm wrestling. As Bruce Lee once said, you gotta eat big to get big. And I intend on getting big. A big part of all strength athletes' diets is protein. People eat a lot of protein because it builds muscle. Now, not everybody can afford to cook meat all the time and have alternative sorts of protein. So what people do is they result to protein powder and protein shakes. Now, I intend on making the ultimate protein shake to make myself the strongest I've ever been. All right, guys, this is how you make the ultimate protein shake. First, you need a blender and some protein powder. Now, add a scoop of protein. Now, add some milk. Very standard stuff so far. Now add a little bit more milk because the first bag was out. Now add some peanut butter. Now add a protein bar. Now add some more protein powder. Now add an egg. Now add another egg. Now add one or two more scoops of protein powder. Now add a pancake. Now add more protein powder. Now add a banana. Now add another pancake. Now, just a little bit more milk to top it off. And finally, some maple syrup. As every good protein shake needs, a little bit of maple syrup to finish it off. And a little bit more protein butter. Now, just turn it on and blend it all up. Sometimes things get stuck and you gotta use the stirring rod a little bit like I had to. Now take off the cap and there you go. Pour away and you've got yourself the ultimate, ultimate protein shake for all your gains needs. This shake comes in at 247.5 grams of protein, 2,536 calories, and 48.1 grams of fat, approximately. Bottoms up. That was gross, but I feel so much stronger than ever before in my entire life. So, 
Now that I'm clearly way stronger than I ever was before, I think it's time to train my speed. Now, now speed is difficult to train for, but I've solved it. I know what I need to do to get faster. I need to think fast. I need to act fast. And I think I have the perfect solution for that. Now, everybody knows that cheetah is the fastest animal in the world. And I realized over my thinking of how to get better with speed is that if I act like a cheetah and look like a cheetah, I think I'll be faster. So, I'll be right back guys. As you guys can see, my cheetah transformation is complete. And now the real question is, can I run a mile and a bit in Canada's freezing cold weather without a shirt on before the paint dries? Stay tuned to find out. All right, guys, here we are. I just walked outside and come to find that it's actually freezing raining, so just adds a little bit of challenge. All right, I'm in front of my house and it's, it's a little bit cold out here, guys. <sighs> okay, in the street lights, you can see me a bit better. I'm gonna be running about a mile. It's currently definitely below zero, as you can see by all the snow, but all right, might as well go for it. Three, two, one, go! Alright guys, I'm currently about halfway through, I believe. I'm in no way a runner or able to run long distances, but I'm gonna finish this. I need my cheetah powers to push through. Alright, I'm about three quarters through and it just started hailing. So, I've got a nice cut up guy. Hey. So, just ran by someone else with an awkward interaction. Said hi, I didn't respond. So, just gonna keep running. You know. I wonder why they didn't respond. I feel like it's a pretty normal thing for people to be running out like 10 at night in the middle of a hailstorm painted in cheetah. I think it's pretty bad, I don't know. All right guys, final block. This is where most people quit, but with my newfound cheetah powers, I will be able to sprint so fast, so fast. The last bend. Ah, ah, I made it. Oh, I made it. I'm home. Ah, I made it. Ah, oh, zebra. So. Obviously, the cheetah print made me way faster. Not even comparable, guys. But I don't think it fully drained on. I think I'm in luck. So I should have time to be able to wash it off. But we'll see. Can't guarantee anything, guys. So, guys, I'm happy to confirm that the paint all washed off, which had me a little bit worried. And I'm so happy that it is off now because if it wasn't coming off, I'd do have school tomorrow. So. That would have been a little bit embarrassing, but I'll go on now, guys. All right, guys. After that, I feel so much faster. It is, it is unbelievable. My strength, my power, my speed are gonna be are gonna be unmatched on the day of. But the issue is, I'm gonna have a lot of matches. 
what happens if I get tired? So I need to work on my stamina. And I think the best way to do that is King's move. Everybody knows that the King's move is the most stamina driven move in arm wrestling. It takes no strength. All it is is a bone lock and you sit down and just, and just sit back and, and there's nothing to it. Anybody can do it without any training. Nobody needs to have any technique of knowing how to do it. A beginner could do it if they wanted. They just, they take the high road as they should. So I realized if I can hold a King's move for a very long time, then I should be able to arm wrestle for a very long time. So that's what I will be doing. All right, guys. So for my King's move training tonight, we've got 25, 15. So this is 15. So 25, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 pounds on the bar plus apparatus. I'm not sure how much the apparatus is, but it'll probably add 10 pounds or so. So I'd say around 100 pounds. So as I was saying before, King's Move is the ultimate stamina attack. And it's all just bone lock and such a, such a waste of skill. But training it grows your stamina exponentially. So I'm going to be doing the King's Move. I'm going to be locking down and I'm going to be seeing how long I can hold it for. Hopefully, it's a very long time because as you know, King's Move matches can last forever and ever and ever. So, ready? Go move. Ready, go! Um, as you can see, my blood pressure went up and I started bleeding from my eyes a little bit. That part was off camera. I didn't want to show it was a little bit too gross. Uh, I'm sweating a little bit, but I can tell my stamina has improved tenfold. Guys, I don't know what to say. I, I feel, I feel different. I feel different than ever before. I feel way stronger, way more fast. And my stamina is unmatched. I don't know, it's, it's going to be a tough time for anybody that's, that's on the other side of the table. We'll see, guys. All jokes aside, guys, I have been training really hard. I've been training really hard for this tournament for a while now, and, and I feel ready. I, I do feel pretty ready. I'm sure that it's not going to be easy for me, and there'll be some definitely very, very strong kids who know how to arm wrestle quite well. So it'll be definitely... A very challenging day and I'm so looking forward to it. This is the first tournament I think I've ever been to where I'm really, really excited. I've done so many tournaments and and this one to me is by far the coolest. The reason that it's in high school and and that it's with my friends and with all these different schools that I've never met and that there's 30 people in my class. It's just going to be so awesome. It's It's a day I'm looking forward to so so much so i just wanted to say guys i'm gonna be posting a video with how it goes so check that out when it comes out and thanks for watching guys